I'm really excited about the new Surface Pro 11, but Microsoft, what were you thinking? A $450 keyboard and stylus combo. This is crazy. So you look at the price of these devices, $449 for the keyboard and the stylus. Granted, they're excellent quality. Microsoft does a fantastic job with it, but this is absolutely ludicrous pricing. This is so much money. And now I have a couple different things that I'm going to suggest. If you're looking at buying a Surface Pro 11, which I would encourage, I think they're great machines, and you're looking to save money, you don't want to buy this one, or it's out of stock. So here you'll notice both the black and the bright sapphire are out of stock, so you can't buy them anyway. What are you gonna do? Okay, so here is my suggestion. There are two things. One, you can get a discount. Notice I have a discount. It's $45 off. Great, cool, you're saving $45. I have a better solution for you. Okay, number one, let's talk about the Surface Pro 11 price. I have here the Surface Pro Copilot Plus PC, the OLED model with one terabyte, and this one is labeled as $1699. I'm going to log in. I would encourage you to log in. And there should be an option next to your price here that says uh, student and military discount. This is super easy to do. This discount is actually a student, military, parent, or teacher discount. If you're a parent, you qualify for a 10% discount. That 10% discount, notice on this one, $16.99 down to $15.29, that's $170 discount. Now we are going to use this to get this device or notice now my starting point is $8.99, not $9.99. Save up to $210, that's the 32 gigabyte model. Notice here we have the 12 core with the X Elite Snapdragon with OLED display starting at $13.49. Now, if you buy this for $14.99, plus tax, plus keyboard, plus stylus, you're over $2,000, $2,000. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get this for $500 less. All right, so you're going to get a keyboard and a stylus that work really well, that are Bluetooth, and it's a wonderful configuration, and it's, for most of us, not that important that we have the brand name stylus and keyboard and this is the keyboard that i'm ah. and this is the keyboard that i'm using right now this is bluetooth it's a beautiful lovely keyboard it has a soft fabric back and the front is nice and soft it has a anti-fingerprint uh, coating on it. I've had this one for a while. It's got a nice charging port USB-C right here at the top. It connects to a Surface Pro 11 uh, and an 8 and a 9 and a 10. And this thing is great. I actually really like it and I use it. I could use any type of keyboard because I have a um, Asus ROG Z13 that this doesn't fit on and this is what I use. So I should say something. The stylus I use is this one. This is the Renacer R530. It has a nice eraser here at the end. It has two buttons here on the side. All right, it has two buttons here on the side. I'm using um, background removal, so keep in mind this is going to be weird. Okay, one button, two button. And I did a little customization. I put some epoxy. I put some epoxy, just little drops of glue on here. So there's two buttons. There's two little bumps on the back side and one little bump on the front side. This is like a four second hack that is absolutely worth doing. I right, see those little those little bumps right here. Those are glue. Bump, bump, bump. Okay, this is a different topic, so we're going to move on. So I look weird. Uh, for those of you who've seen my many, many stylus reviews, this is my favorite stylus. I have a Slim Pen 2. 
Um, this is Renacer's version of the Slim Pen. Uh, I don't recommend this one. Um, it doesn't fit in the case here, and the quality of the line is not as clean. If you get the Surface Keyboard, you can put this one... Nah. If you get the Surface Keyboard, you can put this one in the tray. This does not fit in. Um, they do have ones, new stylus. Bah. Here's my Slim Pen 2. And I don't use this one. I, I, I like it on the uh, Surface devices. I think it's fantastic. I don't use it uh, on the other ones uh, for a handful of reasons. It's not as good if you don't have everything connected. So if you're using something else, I don't recommend it. But it's great on the Surface Pro 8, 9, 10, 11, Surface Laptop Studio 1 and 2. Okay, so there's that stylus. If you are less interested in line quality, there's a slight, slight uh, performance difference in the line quality on this stylus. This one has a graphite tip. Notice here, it's different. Notice this tip here. This tip is actually graphite, so you can write on paper. This one also fits in the tray here and is pretty cool. Uh, it does not write as clean as the other stylus does. I'm going to show these off real quickly. If you want something that draws well on your new Surface Pro 11 or Surface Pro 10 or 8 or 9 or 7, honestly, this is great. I have like 60 or 70 different stylus here with me, and I prefer this one. So let's look real quickly at how this looks in OneNote. This is the one with the graphite tip. These are a little bit jittery. Now we're going to look at the R530. This is the one that I think is a little bit better. You can see that's got a cleaner line than the graphite one. All right, so these, how do you find these? All right, so if you are looking at getting this solution here, so let's go over to the Renacer website. You see they've got a video here you can watch. It shows off the keyboard. This is the combo that I'm going to recommend, the Pelican K8 keyboard and Raphael 530 combo. This is $109, so you'll have tax on this, so there's a difference here, but, but you can get the OLED model of the Surface Pro 11 and this keyboard and pay about $1,500 instead of $2,000. So really good suggestion. I highly recommend it. Uh, if you do this, use the link I have in the description. I've worked hard to partner with uh, most of the brands that I really like. This partnership comes after I do reviews, and if I like them, I'll contact the company and say, hey, I like what you guys are doing. Can we work together? So it is not the reverse. They're not paying me to promote their products. I'm connecting with them afterwards because I like what they're doing. Now, if you're using a tablet like the Surface Pro, I recommend the Tablet Pro software. Here I am using my finger on the right side to move the trackpad on the left. Here's a radial menu that you can put keyboard shortcuts on. This is highly customizable. Over here on the left side, you can put this on the right side. This is the artist pad from Tablet Pro Studio. This is super useful if you're using your tablet. You can have these customized for any program that you're using. So if you're not using a keyboard or when you're using your tablet without a keyboard, this is super useful. And it has profiles for popular programs like DaVinci Resolve, Rebel, uh, Photoshop, uh, Microsoft Word, OneNote, uh, all sorts of different apps. This is very easy to use. So I recommend that. Get it while it's on sale in our new version pre-launch sale. All right, if you found this information useful, if you like using a tablet like the Surface, this is a great channel to learn more about how to do that more effectively, to enjoy it more and get more done with a lot less frustration. So if that resonates with you, click subscribe right now and comment below if you have any questions. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.